What's up guys, welcome back to a new Baki video. Today we're talking about our boy Katsumi Orochi. But first, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to talk more about Baki greatness, make sure to join the Discord. Link is in the description. So Katsumi is a character I believe to have great importance throughout the story and will continue to have great importance as the story goes on. He is the adopted son of Doppo Orochi, as we all know, and is the current face of karate in the world of Baki. His current age is 21 he's around six foot six foot one in height and 116 kilograms and his fighting style is karate he is also a character that has gone through a lot of development throughout the story with his initial introduction showing him to be very cocky and reckless but later on after taking L's and you know being humbled by various people he has matured into one of the strongest and mentally stable characters in the whole series and a character that gets great respect from a lot of other people in the verse Prior to being adopted by Doporochi, Katsumi worked in a circus when he was a five-year-old boy. He was known for his extraordinary physical ability, such as his insane strength, with his real father being a lion tamer in this very same circus, with his father being killed by a lion, which resulted in Doporochi adopting Katsumi. And also he had to get like a little mini arc later on in Bucky involving Katsumi's real mother and all stuff regarding that. His initial introduction in the story was was before the Maximum Tournament or before the Maximum Tournament setup began where we got to see him taking on some thugs and just wrecking people and then his major debut was during the Maximum Tournament with his main goal at this point in the story to defeat and kill Yujiro Hanma because Yujiro was the one who pretty much took one of his father's eyes Doppo Orochi and absolutely humiliated him. Also during the Maximum Tournament this is where Retsu and Katsumi first meet and this is where the rivalry of Chinese Kenpo Reverse karate begins in the story of Bucky. His fights during the maximum tournament included these. He faced Ronald Is Taz in the first round, defeated him with absolute ease, zero difficulty. Second round, he faced the absolute beast Haniyama. He was actually able to defeat Haniyama at extremely high difficulty. With me personally believing Haniyama could have won that fight around 50 to 60 percent difficulty if he didn't fight the way he did and actually ended him when he had so many chances. But he did didn't do that and Katsumi ended up getting that to win and then the final fight before he was defeated he faced Kai Retsu and he was defeated about moderate to easy difficulty in my opinion and then the rest of his involvement in the maximum tournament arc was him becoming the owner or leader of the dojo that Doppo Orochi owned because Doppo Orochi decided to leave and do some alone training after getting defeated in that very maximum tournament he also gained immense uh, respect for Bucky after Bucky defeated Jack Hanma in the final of that very tournament Tournament. His next appearance is during the Most Evil Death Row Convict Saga where he was kind of humiliated by Dorian and burnt in the first part of that arc and then later on got revenge on Dorian and defeated him. Also during this arc he had a sparring match with Retsu that he was defeated in and also showing that Retsu is still above Katsumi at this point in the story. And then after that arc we don't actually see Katsumi for about 3 or 4 arcs until the Pickle arc where we get to see how much he has improved since the Maximum Tournament arc which has been a quite a long time in the Bucky universe. This arc is also where Katsumi gets the most shine he's ever had in the whole story getting a whole little training arc his backstory with his uh, biological mum meeting his mum again after all this time and everything regarding that and having his fight against Pickle. As we know Retsu lost his leg fighting Pickle and this is where Retsu decided to teach uh, Katsumi everything he can about Chinese Kepo to somewhat perfect karate and make it the perfect martial arts somewhat and he also got the help from Kaiokaku the supreme grandmaster of Chinese Kenpo to help this as well to teach Katsumi a perfect technique and enhance you know the way of karate even more so with his newly found strength and techniques from the help of the Chinese Kenpo users he faced Pickle in the big fighting arena with like 50,000 people plus watching him fight Pickle he was kind of wrecked by Pickle but did a lot better than what anyone else had done until this point with him actually dealing some damage to Pickle with the sacrifice of his limbs and by the end of the fight he had lost the whole arm due to Pickle's chadness. But unlike uh, Pickle's fight with Retsu, Pickle had actually respected Katsumi and decided not to eat Katsumi like a meal due to this respect Pickle gained during this fight for Katsumi and out of that he kind of goes into one arm training mode, doesn't really know what to do, kind of lost after losing 
losing one up but feels kind of enlightened as well which is good to see he was shown watching the Yujiro vs Bucky fight at the end of that manga series and then his next introduction is in the Bucky Dao series where he actually has Retsu's arm as we know in the Miyamoto Musashi arc Kaio Retsu in his fight against Miyamoto was killed and after that Retsu decided to give his arm to Katsumi or the people who had the remaining body parts of Retsu decided to give it to Katsumi showing that karate can be perfected with the help of his dear friend Retsu who was killed in battle and now flash to the current sumo tournament arc that's currently going on in the Bucky manga series right now Katsumi hasn't had his battle yet we've had three battles left with about three remaining and Katsumi hasn't had his battle yet so we don't see his new power with the use of Retsu's arm yet and then for his techniques he's more of a speedy fighter but does have some very insanely powerful technique based attack most of his techniques is based on you know karate moves but he also has this super powerful or most powerful technique which is his whip type attack that sacrificed his arm against pickle and everything regarding that and also as the story has gone on he's changed his motive as i mentioned before when he was first introduced his main goal was to defeat yudra hanma to get revenge for his adopted father doppler rochi but as time went on as he became closer to retsu he decided to pretty much focus everything he has on enhancing the way of karate with that only being 100 years old at this point in the story he wanted to you know lead karate into a perfect martial art and this is where retsu kayakaku everyone was actually helping him to do this and this changed his focus away from revenge to try and perfect karate with all his students various parts in the story supporting katsumi with everything he's trying to do and giving him kind of a big boost in energy and reason to fight when he was about to get defeated this is shown during the honey armor fight and again during the pickle fight which is absolutely respect as the story goes on i assume katsumi will get a lot more shine in the story with him having retsu's arm and the importance he was shown during the later arc in the story i think katsumi will end up becoming maybe top five strongest in the whole series as time goes on with him being one of the younger characters or younger fighters in the whole story with him getting a lot of support from various other characters in supporting his ways and his training and everything regarding that so with that i think katsumi will be an absolute monster later on in the story he already is pretty strong maybe even top 10 strongest in the whole series around 10 as time goes on but yep that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to subscribe and all the other good shit and yep that's it guys peace